Let's get better at defense with one simple switch. That's all it takes. We're breaking it down in this video for you. Let's get right into it. If you don't know me, I am an assistant coach at Marymount University. This video, we're breaking down some film from one of our best perimeter defenders, Grayson Andrews. Grayson put on a display last year defensively. Here's a couple stats from Grayson's season. Grayson had 137 digs. From those digs, he had 160 total touches. That equates to an 86% dig to touch ratio, which is honestly, it's pretty incredible stuff. And something that he did is gonna help you and help every single person watching this video get a little bit better at defense. Here's the simple trick. Here is what he did. Stop digging the ball with two arms. And the reason for that is because there's absolutely no time. You do not have enough time. Once you get past the high school level, once you get over the age of 17, you do not have enough time to pass the ball, with two, to dig the ball with two hands. So we always scoop the ball with one hand or with our hands separated. So the major takeaway from this video, before I get into any film, is stop digging the ball with two arms. Now I say that, and you can't just go and dig every ball with one arm, it's not that simple. I have to break it down for you with some film, and we're gonna do that. So let's get into some of these videos that I brought from last season. The first video that we're gonna look at comes from a game where we played against Juniata, which was at one point the number one team in Division One Volleyball, in Division Three. It was at one point the number three team, at one point in the season they were the number one team in Division Three Volleyball. In this video, ball goes to their, their right side. This is a D ball. This is a back row attack. And Gr Grayson scoops the ball up with one arm. The main thing I want you to take away from this video is his setup. His setup is great. His base is wide. His arms are out in front of him. His hands are open. Almost feeling like you have two teacups in, in your hands. That's the feeling you have to think of when you're playing defense. And because he's so wide and his base is open, he's able to scoop this ball with his left hand, pop it up, give us a chance to extend the rally. We end up winning this point but this play is huge and he does not make this play does not make this dig if he tries this if he tries to get two hands on this ball or even if his his defensive base position is low inside his frame connected like he wants to pass the ball with two arms if he goes like this and tries to reach for it that ball is going 30 yards past his head but because he was open you see his palms are up he's able to get a touch on it a positive touch which is all we're looking for and at this level here's another clip here really explaining why we want to be separate with our hands not necessarily jabbing making these one arm pushes with the one arm pushes just jab at the ball but being open and independent hands right look at this ball here diego our right side gives up a little bit too much line the ball comes firing at him and all he does is a little independent movement like this gets a positive touch, Diego bring this, brings this ball back and Will puts it over. That's huge, that is huge. That's a second chance point right there. And look at again, his base. Hands open, could be a little higher, but they stay out in front of him. He stays nice and under control, nice and relaxed. Hands stay apart, hands stay open, and he gets a dig. I promise you, if he puts his hands together here, that ball goes this way, or he misses entirely. There's no time. Like The answer to the defensive problem is there's not enough time to react with two hands. You, As fast as you think you are, you are not fast enough at this level to dig the ball with two hands on a ball hit like that. And if you can, if you do, it's luck. That's It's simple as that. All right, last clip we'll, we'll roll. We can play defense wherever we are on the court. It can be in the back row, it can be in the front row. And the principles stay the same. Keep your base wide, keep your arms open, and you're gonna cover so much more court. Think about how much more court you cover when you're like this versus like this. If everyone on the court does that, that's doubling the surface area for your defensive coverage. So Grayson here has wide base, pops the ball up with one hand, nice and calm, nice and relaxed, uses his palms, and we get a almost nearly an attack on this ball. We get a, a good set from Devin, and an error on the attack, but still, we're getting positive touches here, which is all you, all you can ask for on defense. I know there's gonna be some people in the comments, maybe not, 
I don't know if I get enough comments on my videos, but there might be some people thinking why, like there's definitely situations where I need to dig the ball with two hands. And yes, this is when you're gonna do that. I'll show you a video right here. This is from Stevenson. All right, ball comes to Devin in the back row. He sends it over, tight ball at the net and the ball trickles over to Grayson and he passes the ball. He digs the ball with his platform. Now, I don't consider this a dig. On the stat sheet, it counts as a dig, but this is really a free ball to me. And yes, free balls we take with two arms. There's no reason to take this with one, but I'm talking about getting more touches, being better at defense. The way you do that is one arm. This same play, look at Grayson here, Ball comes off the block, hands are wide, scoops. Great dig. This is the method, and it's gonna take time to break down those habits of putting your hands together. But once you start playing defense like this, it's gonna be huge for your defensive game. I don't know about the numbers, but 86% dig to touch ratio is incredible. So he's getting all, Grayson's getting all the easy ones, getting all the free balls, but he's also making really positive touches because of his base, his setup, using one hand, using them together and independently. This is the best way to get better at defense. Remember three things, hands open and in front of you, moving together, but also independently, and you will get 90% more quality touches than you're doing right now, I guarantee it. That's all I got for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Grayson is a great example of how to get more touches on defense. And I think this is something you guys should implement. Let me know in the comments if you, if you are a fan of this strategy, if you 